40 years old this year. Um, and our three main areas of service are dance, um, professional entertainment, dance education, and community outreach. Um, those are three things that we're very passionate about. Uh, my name is Anthony Lee. Uh, I am current artistic director of Coach Shop Los Angeles, based in Los Angeles. In Earth. Ripple Shock. It's really a cool bridge for culture of hip hop and like also just our dance community that is flourishing and evolving every single day. And that's just another way to embrace like what they could love. And giving kids that is uh, is important. They're the future of our lives, our next generation. And uh, making sure that we provide that and, uh, and really nurture their love for it is uh, super important. I believe it's like it's not just like a thing to do, it's a responsibility. Uh, I think ultimately, Cold Shock is a, it's a fun place. It's a fun place for be, to be, to whether you want to perform, whether you want to like use your talents for good and, and go out and do stuff with it. Uh, ultimately, it's it's a group. It's like a, a fraternity slash sorority of people that are like-minded, that love dance and that love to do good stuff. So if you put enough people that love dance and love to do good stuff in one room, there's nothing but positive impact, growth, and energy. So, I mean, what? Why not? My name is Yoko Kogure, and I'm the company director for Culture Shock. And the company director for Mighty Shock LA. And Culture Shock really taught me how to become a better person, a better dancer, and a better leader. And um, also just being mindful that we can use music and dance as a way to create value in the community. Um, so those are some things, but ultimately I feel like the best thing out of Culture Shock has been my training um, as a leader and also just having the best kind of friendships. Um, what, it, what is so cool about like, how about um, like the friendships and stuff, what is so cool about like the people and stuff? Like making new friends yeah. every year. Yeah. Um, and you could um, dance with them. You guys friends? Are you guys brothers? Yeah. We're, we're brothers. Friends. No, we're friends. No brothers. We're no, friends. We're brothers. brothers. <laughs> we're friends. We're brothers. We're brothers. What's up? My name is Lawrence. Huh. Redo, redo. <laughs> What's up? My name is Lawrence Devera, Future Shock alumni, Culture Shock returner, Choreotics <laughs> <laughs> rep, Kinjas rep. Also, I joined Future Shock when I was 17. Let's just say dance has never been the same since then. Why come back to Culture Shock? Um, at first, why? I came back to Culture Shock in 2012 was uh, mostly just because for the training. Like it was such good training. Um, there's always great dancers here, and it feels so good to just be around like good work ethic and like just good dancing all around. I've grown to learn that it's actually more than that. There are actually like dope friendships that happen here. I find myself actually starting to come to rehearsal just for the feel and the vibe and just for like the positive energy that's all around. And it's actually more than just dance now. I actually just love the feeling. I love you, Culture Shock. Um, I know I don't really say it a lot, and I'm really bad at showing my feelings and emotions, um, but I do love you guys. You mean so much to me, and thank you everything for everything, for all the smiles, all the laughs, and all the good times. What do you like best about Culture Shock? We're definitely a family first, and then second, we're an organization, we're an actual dance organization because we have a mission um, to really uh, change the communities and impact communities in a positive way. It's about people giving people a moment, their moment to shine and feel special, and these kids are going to feel special. So that means a lot to me because I feel like that's the magic of Culture Shock LA is that in validating others, we feel validated ourselves. I'm just really proud that we're doing it in a new way because I know it means a lot to these communities and I just hope that we can get support to not only keep them thriving but make, help them to grow because no one's, there's hardly anyone doing it and there's so much need and these are just four out of hundreds and hundreds of kids who just deserve the opportunity to express themselves and to grow and have that chance to be a part of something. So, thank you for letting me do the program. <laughs> <laughs>